Alex Simu je cenjeni klarinetista, saksofonista i kompozitor po reklamu iz Bukurešta. Od strane poznate štampe karakterizovan je kao nesumnji virtuoz sa emocionalnom dubinom koja se može osjetiti samo kod izuzetno iskutnih muzičara. Muziku smatra instrumentom života, instrument igračkom kojim se izražava. Sa 22 godine seli se u Amsterdam gde odpočinje svoje fakultetsko obrazovanje na oceku za jazz muziku, a master završava u Amsterdamu i New Yorku. Can you tell me something about your uh, music background and uh, what made you uh, want to be a musician? I wanted to become a musician already when I was uh, four and I was quite confident about it. It's basically also because um, my grandmother, she was always telling me that I'm going to become a musician. Yeah. So I was very confident I'm going to become a musician. I didn't have, I never had doubts. I started playing piano and then I started playing clarinet. Mm -hmm. And in practice, my final decision to become a musician was when I was 18, when um, for a while I was singing. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, I had a, um, a concert on the, on the seaside and then it was so nice that I thought, wow, this is what I want to do. But then I never, I, I didn't really sing ever after, but I just uh, decided to play music. You've been living in uh, Amsterdam for over 10 years now, so can you tell me, uh, did it maybe uh, affect your uh, view of the music in some way? Amsterdam is a very artistic city, very sensitive city and also very intellectual city. Mm -hmm. So you have all sides um, of life combined, which are fantastic for an artist. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in Amsterdam, you are challenged to think completely outside of the box. And there is so much uh, conceptual art, contemporary art, that um, challenges your ways of making music or your ways of living, asking you if you can do it in another way. And for me, this challenged me to arrive to think music a lot more conceptual than um, uh, concrete into the notes. I start thinking only about images, only about uh, sensations, and from this I start making the music. Well, Alexim Quintet, like it says, it, it's uh, my own quintet, and it was quite a long-awaited project, but I decided to take time and to make this project happen, and I chose four of uh, my favorite musicians, very versatile players, yeah. which we have a very long history of making music together. And then I just um, start composing music for them. And I also I start uh, preparing the process of making the music because we didn't make music in a normal way. Uh, most of the times the bands come together and they rehearse a song. Mm -hmm. We were coming together and we were just rehearsing, improvising. improvising how to interact together and how to develop a common language that we are able to um, talk about anything. Alex je odlučio da se osloni na iskustvo i govor muzičara, gde ih postiče da kreiraju jedinstvene melodije. Zapisane note koje su imali ispred sebe su predstavljale samo mapu koja ih je vodila ka krajnjoj destinaciji. Nesumnjiva virtuoznost svih muzičara jeste jedna od odlika ovog albuma, koja savršeno prenosi emociju koju stvara kompozitor. Sve kompozicije su ispirisane istorijom Bukurešta, od naslanka i evolucije do sadašnjosti i budućnosti. Zbog toga što se nalazi na međi istoka i zapada, Rumunija koristi bogate kulturne utjecaje koje su doprinjeli stvaranju različitih identiteta, te su u njihovu muziku utkali dosta folklornih motiva. Dopunjavajući glavne melodije, tematski fragmenti koji pripadaju tim epohama napisani su tako da se uklope u savremeni džez i improvizaciju. Usually melodies have uh, their own life. So you're sitting and then all of a sudden you start playing an instrument and the melody comes to you and then either I record it or, or I write it down. Mm -hmm. And then I develop a composition around it or I start arranging it, making rhythm. So each melody came at a certain moment and then I understood, okay, this melody is going to become this tune. Tokom svoje karijere imao je prilike da bude deo velikih muzičkih projekata, svirajući sa turskom pevačicom Aynur Dogan i u ansamblu Arifa, gde se kroz džez spaja muzika Bliskog istoka i Bokana. 
Dugo se bavi komponovanjem muzike za film, za što je i dobio priznanje od Holandske filmske akademije za najbolju muziku za film Beyond Sleep. So, can you tell me a little bit about the experience on uh, working on that project? In general, working on film music is a lot of fun. Yeah. You really have to. Um, I mean, it's a lot of fun if you work also with the right directors. So I've been, I've been so far fortunate to work with very good directors and very open-minded people. And uh, they challenged me to go really beyond any kind of border I had in my imagination and in, in, inside of my musical creativity. So for this movie, for Beyond Sleep, I, I composed the big, biggest part of the score um, very conceptual, the same way like the music for my record. I just chose uh, fabulous musicians mm -hmm. and I indoctrinated them with the story of the film, with the emotions of the characters. I even had the main character, the main actor was there inside of the studio when we recorded the score. So uh, all the music was ready before they went filming in uh, Norway. Mm -hmm. So in this way we created a very organic bond between the soundtrack and the actual image and the image was filmed to the music <laughs> How is your uh, life in Serbia and um, how do you like the Serbian music scene? For me, Serbia, it's actually Belgrade so far. Yeah. I mean, of course, I've been to uh, other cities and I love also the countryside and the nature, but for me, Serbia is Belgrade and uh, Belgrade is an amazing, beautiful echo of uh, Bucharest. So for me, I, I'm finding in Belgrade all the lost neighborhoods of Bucharest I never yeah. uh, seen or discovered. And from the first moment, I feel like I'm at home. Uh, four season, warmth, uh, great food, great people, uh, imagination really lives on the streets. So it really also inspired me while making the record, Echoes of Bucharest. So Echoes of Bucharest are sounding in Belgrade, are sounding in uh, all the neighbor countries, but also they are sounding in uh, Amsterdam. Thank you so much for sharing and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Belgrade very soon. Thank you. Hello.